All right, so this should be number four. Um, and I would say this is one of the more difficult ones on your circuit. So this is a radical equation. Um, so the first thing we want to do is isolate the radical by subtracting the five, moving the five to the other side. And then, um, once that radical is isolated, we are going to square both sides. You have to be really careful on the right. The left is easy. The square root cancels. The square cancels out the square root. On the right, we have to square x minus three as a quantity. So you have two options. You can actually multiply x minus three times itself. Distribute the x. Distribute the negative three. I'm going to use my little shortcut I like to use. Oops. Mm, wrote it over too far, but um, where I'm going, A in this case is going to be um, X, and B in this case is going to be negative 3. So we're going to square X and get X squared. Then we're going to multiply X times negative 3 and then multiply that by 2. So that's going to be negative 6. And then we're going to square negative 3. Okay, then I'm going to get everything on one side by subtracting x and subtracting 3. That's a 6. <laughs> All right, and then we're ready to factor it. So this tells you your signs are the same. And this tells you what they are. All right, and then to multiply to get 6 and add to get 7, that's going to be 6 and 1. So we get two answers. We don't really know if they are answers until we check our solutions. So I'll take um, 6 and I'll plug it into both of the x's, and then I'll go back and do the same thing with 1. Okay, so we get the square root of 9 plus 5 equals 8. So that's true. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So 6, we're good. All right, let's check 1. Okay, so we get the square root of 4 plus 5 is 3. I already know that's not going to work because 2 plus 5 does not equal 3. So 1 is an extraneous solution, so you would just mark it out. All right, so go to the answers. That's just number just 6. 6 is the only answer, and that should be number 5.